Alrighty guys, so March has just officially hit by the time I upload this video, so you know exactly what that particularly means. So, so let's go ahead and roll the little intro now, shall we? Kirsten. So of course March just officially hit like I mentioned in the beginning. So that of course means that I'm gonna be starting yet another monthly favorites video for the whole entire month of February. So before I go ahead and get started as you guys can probably already tell I just recently got a hairstyle change which is really nice. I dyed my hair completely black which of course um, why not? I think dark hair colors look good on me anyway. And I kind of trimmed my hair a little bit simply because I had this weird mullet type of thing that was going on with my hair and I figured it would be necessary to trim it since the winter out here into Texas has been a little bit strange lately. It's been warm most days and then some days it gets completely cold. It's completely bipolar and all over the place. What can I say? It's very confusing on what I should do with my hairstyle at that point. Because normally I, I don't mind keeping my hair long. It's just, it's just during the winter I feel like it's necessary to like keep your neck warm and everything else. Also, uh, please do excuse the weird nature of my makeup. I slept with my makeup on for some weird reason and I had acting class that I attended to last night and uh, for some weird reason I figured there's no point in having me remove my makeup and I figured it looks fine for today so why not? Oh my god, I've rambled on for too long, haven't I? <laughs> without even getting started, but anyway. So with that all being out of the way, before I completely get started into this video in particular, if you guys are completely new to this channel and if you haven't done so already, please do consider subscribing to my channel with notifications on. I upload brand new videos every single Friday. So without further ado, I am going to go ahead and dive right on in into this topic. So let us begin now, shall we? This month, for some weird reason, I haven't had a chance to watch any sort of animes or TV shows this month for some weird reason because I feel like this was um, a pretty interesting month to basically watch movies because why not? So there are definitely quite a few movies that I had a chance to watch during the month of February, if I do say so myself. The first movie I thought I would bring up is actually something I thought was really good and my grandmother and I, we were itching to really want to watch this movie in particular and that movie of course is known as Bohemian Rhapsody. Now this movie in particular is about how Queen started and how they officially became like the greatest band ever known. It was very interesting learning about Freddie Mercury and as well as like some of the band members and all this other type of stuff, which in the end became like a really huge phenomenal. Not only was it a good movie, but my grandmother is also a huge fan of Freddie Mercury, which was another reason why we ended up watching this movie in particular. It was just uh, very interesting learning about this band in particular and how it became like the greatest band that ever lived and I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and watch this movie because it is really good. I'm not gonna lie. It was a really good movie. And of course, speaking of movies that are related to artists in particular. This is one of those movies that has been remade a few times and that movie in particular is known as A Star is Born. 
Now technically speaking, I have exactly no idea, no particular idea of how many times this movie was actually remade, but I do remember a long time ago, I watched A Star Is Born with my grandmother from Indiana, and during that time it was with um, Barbra Streisand and what's his face when they played in that movie together. I. I forget what the guy's name is, but I do know that Barbra Streisand played in that movie. And in this movie in particular, it is with Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper that played in that movie. And one thing that really blew my mind was that I never knew Bradley Cooper could actually sing. I think he would have been made into a really good singer if he was really feeling up to it, because I do know that he is a fantastic actor, and he's now a really good singer. I mean, go figure, he's a really talented man, and I completely respect and admire him and look up to him as a very completely talented person because I feel like he can actually do anything. But I've rambled on too, too long about that. I gotta say, Lady Gaga had an excellent performance in that movie as well, and not to mention, she is a fantastic singer. Even during the times where she had like the most outrageous things that were happening to her during that time, I simply admired her for her talent and I thought she was excellent in this movie. That movie was definitely pretty interesting and I absolutely loved the story even though it was really depressing, especially towards the end. But. Another really good hitter. I really loved it. Another movie that I thought I would bring up in particular, um, this one I was kind of really curious about, to be honest. And fun fact, by the way, for those of you that do not know, when I was younger, I got into Spider-Man, and my favorite supervillain was Venom, because he was like a real sinful, uh, creepy looking uh, version of Spider-Man and for some weird reason I fell in love with that character as a kid. I don't know why. I just think uh, sinful uh, creepy looking characters are kind of cool. One movie in particular that I had a chance to watch that I was really curious about was of course Venom. I'm not gonna spoil anything, but I did thought it was an okay movie. I feel like it could have been a little bit more better if they really did put in the effort, but it's definitely the story I wasn't particularly expecting it to be. It was enough for me to feel entertained, that's all I can say, but overall, pretty interesting movie. The last two movies that I thought I would bring up are actually uh, comedy related movies in particular. The first one I thought I would be able to watch, it is called The 40 Year Old Virgin and it is with uh, Steve Carell that played in the movie, Paul Rudd and Seth Rogen and all of them. I just thought it was completely funny and I remember when I first watched the movie, I was probably in middle school when that came out and re-watching that movie all together, it definitely brung back memories of uh, when my mom and dad and my brother and I, we would watch the movie and would absolutely think it would be so funny. It is still a pretty funny movie. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend you do because I got a pretty good kick out of that movie, I'm not gonna lie. Last uh, comedy related thing I watched, but most definitely not least, it is um, something out of Netflix, and it is one of the little Dave Chappelle uh, shows, and I thought it was um, pretty interesting being able to watch his um, comedy-related shows, because uh, my dad used to get into Dave Chappelle so, so much, and I was in the middle of, you know, randomly scrolling through, like, comedy-related movies to watch on Netflix, and for some weird reason, uh, Dave Chappelle came to mind and I figured, you know what, fuck it. <laughs> Why not go ahead and play that stand-up comedy kind of thing? And I just thought it was pretty good for a laugh, I'm not gonna lie. He's pretty funny. So those were all the movies I had a chance to watch during the month 
of February. So of course, you cannot forget about the whole video game section, cause why not? I get into video games also. So as you guys have already seen from my previous monthly favorites video, and especially starting in December, since of course during the last part of December, I was on a massive binge play, playing of course Kingdom Hearts, the story so far. And I think the last time I covered this, I mentioned that I started on Kingdom Hearts 2 at that time, if I'm not mistaken, and I finally had a chance to beat this whole entire uh, collection thing. Which of course, I thoroughly enjoyed this game very much, and, and some of the little movie things they added in there were kind of interesting as well. The only game that kind of threw me off was, I think, uh, Fragmentary Passage. I feel like they could have added in the game a lot more detail to it, and especially when I watched um, Kingdom Hearts uh, X Unity or whatever it's called, I thought it kind of threw me off a little bit because I had no idea what was going on in particular, but I think if I end up playing more into the Kingdom Hearts series a little bit. I think the story will probably make a little bit more sense, hopefully. I still never understood the whole point of that. But other than that, um, overall a really fun game. I loved almost, almost every single one of these games on here. So, highly recommend you guys to play this if um, you get into Kingdom Hearts, obviously. And of course, Still speaking about Kingdom Hearts, after I was done playing Kingdom Hearts the story so far, I went ahead and if you guys have seen my last monthly favorites video, you guys have already known that I was looking forward so much to Kingdom Hearts 3. And when I finally had a chance to be able to get this game in the mail from Amazon, I was really hyped and really excited. So, as soon as I finished this game, I went ahead and played this baby. Now, I am gonna be completely 100% honest with you guys. I had a lot of mixed feelings about this game in particular, and I'm not gonna be spoiling or talk too much into it simply because in the future, at least sometime next week by the time I upload this video. Um, I did had plenty of thoughts about covering this game in particular because I had a lot to say about this game and I know that plenty of people already have made reviews and spoilers about this game in particular, but I figured for the sake of enjoyment of video games and talking about certain video games that I love in particular, I asked you guys on Instagram if you guys would be really interested in having me explain and cover why I have mixed feelings about this game overall. 67% of you said that you were interested, so I figured, you know what, the great people of Instagram have spoken, and I'm gonna go ahead and make this video and talk about it a little bit and talk a little bit further into it. So if you guys are interested in having me cover that video, definitely stay tuned for that because I do have a lot to say about this game. So now that I'm done with the whole Kingdom Hearts series, at least for now, um, I can finally move on and start into other things. And of course, I'm back on social media again since I was caught up into this whole binge play on Kingdom Hearts. So for the whole little travel events type of section of this video, I figured I would go ahead and bring this up. Um, I went ahead and I explored the university that I was gonna start sometime in the fall and uh, since I have so much time on my hands, that's what I did. I went on a little bit of a tour and visited the campus and the campus is so beautiful and I am really looking forward to starting my first semester there and of course to eventually start into this whole little theater program 
or drama program that I'm really interested in in particular because as many of you guys may not have known, I've thought about becoming involved into like theater and drama related stuff since I've been wanting to become a director for so long and I figured myself being the multi-talented person that I am, I figured I would go ahead and begin into my whole little acting career, if you will, because I figured it suited me pretty well since I'm pretty much okay with acting. And in fact, speaking about acting and with the fact that I have all this free time on my hands for now until I start in the fall semester as a full-time student, I started on my first acting class sometime this week actually. I started on Sunday and I thought it was really fun and I'm really looking forward to my next class and what I have to learn and all this kind of stuff. Which of course I'm gonna be attending that class from the last week of February all the way up until the beginning of April. So just six classes total, so I only meet with them once a week, but so far it's been really fun. Such an interesting experience and I can't wait to get more involved into other things in the future like dancing and choreography and, and learning how to use my voice properly and all this other type of stuff. I'm itching to learn until I end up going back to school for good. So. So that's what I've been doing in my spare time, so why not? May as well learn while you can, right? Also moving on into some of the foods that I had a chance to try out and actually loved. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin with uh, some of the things I put up on my list on my phone real fast. So if you see me looking down, then that's what I'm doing is I'm looking through this list that I've put together that I figured I'd bring up to you guys. So the first thing I had a chance to try out is more of like a frozen dinner kind of thing. It's by Luvo Planted and it is known as the Hawaiian Unfried Rice and I thought it was pretty good myself. Something decent to eat. I've tried out uh, Nature's Path in the past before and they're a pretty good cereal brand. I found out that they had the Flax Plus Raisin brand version and I like that so much better than the original Kellogg's Raisin brand and I thought it tasted so much better and a lot more tastier and I was really impressed. A lot of people don't seem to know this but Huggin Days, I think the ice cream brand is called, uh, came out with the plant-based non-dairy ice cream products recently and I found out that they have like these little chocolate bar ice cream things and obviously it is like a non-dairy coconut caramel and dark chocolate frozen dessert bar which I thought tasted pretty good. I tried out the Devi's vegan nut free kettle corn which I thought tasted pretty good. There's a place I tried out called Russo's and I got to try out their house salad with their minestrone soup which surprisingly was plant based so I had a chance to try that out when I was in that place and I thought it was pretty good. I really liked it. And the beverage I had a chance to try out is called Mama Chaya, blackberry hibiscus, and it was pretty tasty. Last time I covered this story, I told you guys that I tried out the White Castle's vegan sliders, and this time I tried out the black bean sliders, and I thought they were really good and they were also vegan, so I was really impressed. Another restaurant I had a chance to try out is called Mango's, and I've tried out the a vegetable roll and the Buddha bowl and I thought they were pretty good. I also had a chance to try out popcorn with just lime and salt and I thought it was pretty tasty. I've also had a chance to go into Sprouts the other day and I got to try out two different types of dark chocolates that I thought would be really interesting to try out. The first one I had a chance to try out, both of these are the same brands actually, 
So it is called Teco, and the first one I had a chance to try out, it is dark chocolate, obviously, and it is made in with almonds and sea salt. It was pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Something different I thought I would try out. And also, something I tried recently this week, actually, is and this other one is called the triple berry and I thought it tasted so amazing. I loved both of them. They were really good. And of course, last thing I had a chance to try out, but most definitely not least, it is a plant-based butter that I thought I would try something different other than Earth Balance, of course. This is known as Miyoko's. And what I like about this butter is that it's very creamy and it definitely reminded me of that European styled butter which of course is what's at the top right here. And another good thing about this is that it's palm oil free so that was another reason why I ended up getting this. It was really good, I was really impressed, and I think I'll definitely buy more of this in the future. So that is pretty much all of the plant-based related stuff that I had a chance to try out for the whole entire month of February. So for the music I had a chance to listen to during the month of February, there was a total of three songs that I had a chance to listen to. One of them is by Celine Dion, and it is from the Deadpool movie, actually. It is called Ashes, and I thought it was really Melanie-like to listen to, and I haven't heard Celine Dion in a very long time, and I think she is absolutely amazing, and it really did surprise me when I watched the second Deadpool movie, I thought it was um, pretty interesting that she got to sing in that movie. So very interesting, especially during the intro of the video. And of course, I got into listening to another Yuta Hikiro song, and it is the Simple and Clean Plant B Remix, I think it's called. And it's kind of like the original uh, Kingdom Hearts theme song from the very first one, and I think it's a very catchy song and I really like it. And I think her music overall is really catchy. I think Yuta Hikiro is really awesome. And then of course, last song I had a chance to listen to, but most definitely not least, it is of course Evanescence High Low. And Amy Lee collaborated with Lindsay Sterling. She's really good with working out her violin and it's just so amazing. I absolutely love Amy Lee, I love Evanescence, and it's just a really interesting song to listen to overall. So that has been my music tastes for this month. My battery is getting ready to die and I'm trying to wrap this up as quick as I possibly can. So that is pretty much everything that I thought I would be sharing with you guys for the whole entire month of February that has been considered my favorites. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video overall, so if you did, be sure to sucker punch that like button down below. Comment down below as well, let me know what has been your favorites for the whole entire month of February. And of course, if you guys are completely new to this channel, and if you haven't done so already, please do dedicate the time and effort to subscribe to my lovely channel, join my little army of darkness, and if you hit that notification button, you will be updated with brand new videos every single Friday. And of course, if you guys are interested in following me outside of YouTube, all of my social medias will be listed in the description box right down below if you are indeed interested in checking them out yourself. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a completely chill week, an awesome day or night, and I will talk to you all soon in the next video. So until then, stay completely dark and so fucking brutal and awesome, my friends. Take care. Bye for now.